what's going on you guys it's your girl Kira and I am back with another video um today I just want to be an encouragement to you guys um anybody who's going through the process of starting their own business creating their own YouTube wanting to start a blog um anything that you may want to do I just want to encourage you guys and let you guys know that you can do it don't be afraid of the process actually trust the process um because once it's all said and done you are going to look at the final product and you're going to be like, whoa, like I did this, like this, this came from me. Like you're going to be so amazed at your end results of what you've been praying for, what you've been hoping for, what you've been dreaming of. So I encourage you to keep dreaming, keep hoping, keep believing, keep um consulting God in everything you do. Pray to him, ask him, God, what's my next step? What's my next move? Connect me to people who are going to be beneficial to me to help me um, go through this venture of my business or starting YouTube or starting my blog. Um, put people in my path who can give me amazing advice on how to um, get to where they are, you know, if they're really successful. So just trust the process. Pray. Um you know, believe that you can do it. Believe that God can provide and make a way for you to be able to do it. And also, um, you know, if anybody is speaking into your life about anything, you know, that you're going to do, or if they're giving you correction, take it, um, you know, take it, listen. If you trust them, take it and listen. If you're not sure what they're saying, you know, go back and look it up. You know what I'm saying? Get clarification on the things that people are speaking to you um, so that you'll have a clear understanding of, you know, what's being said um, to help you. Um, like I got a word over the weekend and um, she said to whom much is given, much is also required. And so I didn't really understand, you know, what she meant. I've always heard that saying, you know, to whom much is given, much is also required. And I never, you know, really understood. So I went back and I looked and I found that it was in Luke 12 verse 48. And it said to whom much is given, much is also required. And I went back and I read it. I read that whole chapter because it was talking about being a faithful servant and being an evil servant. And you have to know that when God trusts you with a lot, he expects a lot back to, um, from you. And, you know, she was talking about that with my gift. And so I realized that I was doing, you know, God gave me this big gift, you know, made me anointed. And I realized I was doing the bare minimum. I wasn't doing everything that was required of me. So when you get clarification of things that are said to you or things, you know, that someone says to God to say to you, if you don't, you know, understand what they're saying or you don't know what they mean, you know, Look that up yourself or go to them and ask them, hey, what I mean, what are you saying? What do you mean? It'll help you in the long run. I can say that it has totally helped me. It helped me um, get over, you know, um, any obstacle or an obstacle that was in my way, because now I have the key to go to the next level. I know that there's more required of me, so I have to do more to go to the next level. And so I just wanted to get on here and encourage you guys that anything you have um, your heart or your mind set on or two that you can do it and I mean like I always say I oh I say it for a reason if you can see it you can have it go and get it it's yours it's out there um, it's probably waiting on you to you know go and grab so like I always say literally live your lives fearlessly I say that because you can't be scared of everything you know you being scared of an opportunity can be you passing up a very good opportunity that'll help you get to the next level. You know, living in fear, it's something I've always said that fear, um, fear is the perception of people's comments that you start to believe. So I, I really don't think sometimes fear. Yes, it starts with you. You're thinking, oh, my God, like, I don't think that I can do this. But other times, <clears throat> fear is deposited in you from other people, which makes you fearful. So I want you guys to live your lives fearlessly. If somebody says something, just, you know, brush it off. Like, but this is what I want to do. It doesn't matter if, you know, you don't think I should do it, but that's maybe because you can't do it and just move on. You know what I'm saying? So 
you know, if you can see it, you can have it. Go and get it and live your guys' lives fearlessly. Because at the end of the day, it's you and God. And he's the one who's preparing you and prepping you and giving you these nuggets to go on to the next level. So I just say just be humble. Above all, be humble. No one likes an arrogant spirit. Be humble. Um, be thankful throughout your whole process. Each person that comes into your life, thank them. You know, either they're a blessing or they're a lesson. Just just thank them even for being in your life to teach you the things that you need to know. And just be grateful for elevation. Um, because if you're elevating, you know you're doing the right thing. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and encourage you guys just to do whatever you know, you want, I believe in you guys, if no one's ever told you guys, I'm proud of whatever you've conquered, whatever, you know, you've done, accomplished, I'm proud of you, if no, if you never hear it from anybody else, you hear it from me, just know that if you feel like you're stuck in a place, this too shall pass, you're never gonna, um, stay in that place, you have to, you know, have the will and ability to move past where you feel like you're stuck, because everything's gonna work for the greater good of you, or for the greater good for you. And so, um, yeah, I just love you guys. And um, I hope that you guys have a great day. And don't forget, you can do anything that you put your mind to. And I love you guys. Bye-bye.